Hello, and welcome to Voices Unleashed. My name is Alexandra Babel, and in this series, we celebrate voices and their influence on our community and beyond. Today, I'm so happy to have with me Ian Hawks. Welcome, Ian. Thank you. I've invited Ian, of course, because not only does he have a beautiful voice, but I'm so impressed with this young man's calling and his intention to bring others into freedom and into a light that they may not have previously experienced. So together, we became friends due to the fact that we have some mutual connections. Ian's beautiful partner, Aspen, is was one of my pupils back in the day, and now she and he worked so beautifully together. And let's just ask Ian all about that. First of all, Ian, mm-hmm. thank you for being here. You're so welcome. <laughs> thank you for having me. Of course, of course. I wanted you to be part of this because I think you have so much good to share with the world. So let's start with you as a young person. Where did you come from and how did you come into this place where you began to express music and express freedom in your ministry, I'm going to call it? Hmm. Okay. Well, geographically, I came from Ontario. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I moved here to Kelowna in 2010. So I've been here for over a decade now and Kelowna is very much home. Nice. Vocationally, I was a tree planter and I worked in the forestry industry for Mm. 12 years. And you speak to freedom, and that is uh, where I learned a great deal about freedom. In the tree planting world, we are often removed from society for three months at a time or more. Living out in the bush, we build our own camp, and it's away from cell service and away from all of the other cultural norms and expectations of society and there's a lot of gathering around the campfire and sharing song and really learning to be our truest expression our authentic selves and so i feel very blessed to have had such a long career that allowed me so much freedom to really discover who i am and to share long nights around the fire playing music and uh, expressing myself wow Mm -hmm. the nature component of it yes and nature is for me, the greatest inspiration. Oh, my goodness. So, That's uh, so good. Mm-hmm. That's so beautiful. So you came to me with um, some interest in improving your musical skills, but you have a real reason for wanting to improve your musical skills. And tell me what it is that you're saying with your music. Mm. Thank you for that acknowledgement. It feels good to receive. And... Um, what I, my music now is about prayer. Mm. It's uh, songs of gratitude. And I strive to create high vibrational music that raises my frequency mm. and hopefully those who listen to it as well. And so I sing about things that are true and authentic to myself and always from a place of deep gratitude and prayer. And sometimes maybe a little more heartfelt Um, sadder things that Mm -hmm. through creating music in that way allows me to transmute those those denser emotions and bring them into the light and also to to share the stories that um, that have been challenges and also growth opportunities for me oh my goodness Ian I have to tell our audience I have never said this to any of my pupils or anyone I've worked with before nor after But when Ian comes to sing in my house, I have to thank him for what he leaves in the space. I know that sounds a little woohoo, but my walls, my plants, everything in my house is better because Ian sang in my space. And I'm a big believer in frequency and in energy and in particular pitches meaning particular things. And we talked about key signatures and how certain scales evokes certain feelings, certain intervals, and intervals defined as the space between two notes. Certain intervals mean certain things both literally and subconsciously. So I have watched you grow and mature in your expression in song, but I really want to get to the subject at hand. I've been waiting to talk about this. Notice this amazing sweatshirt here, Brotherhood, Brotherhood. I have a personal little thank you to offer to Ian, and I want you all to know about it. 
my nephew came to visit me here in Canada, uh, making some dramatic changes in his life mm-hmm. to remove himself from rather toxic situations and also going through a great deal of grief as his father, my brother, was recently tragically killed in a car accident. And my nephew, Josiah, came to stay with his auntie for a while. And while he was here, I kind of manipulated situations such that he, along with a few other of my young male friends, would come to to meet Ian, to see Ian, and to find some connection with Ian. And now that has gone on and moved forward into a online group, Please tell us about this brotherhood thing that you're offering. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that. And it was such a joy to meet Josiah. And, and I love the time that we get to spend together. I learned so much from him. He's a oh, very wise young man. Did you hear man. that, Josiah? He heard from <laughs> um, So brotherhood, referencing this sweater, I'll, I'll um, mention Sacred Sons, which is mm. a large men's group organization one that I've been working with for the last year and a half, and they do incredible work. And so this is one of their sweaters. Mm -hmm. Um, Sacred Sons. Sacred Sons, yes. Please look them up if if you're interested. They do amazing work all over the world now, and and I'm very involved with them and have Mm -hmm. learned so much through that organization. Mm -hmm. And my work with Sacred Sons has inspired me to bring forward opportunities for men to gather in similar ways here in our community. Mm. And uh, so I hold a regular men's group every every other week and um, sometimes with other offerings interspersed in between those regular meetups. And when you introduce me to Josiah and the other two young men, um, Josiah lives in uh, Michigan Michigan, now. So when he moved back to his home, I realized, well, if we're going to continue meeting, we'll need to take it online, which mm. I was more than happy to do. And so so we meet online every other Thursday oh, night. That's cool. And that's um, a men's group that organically came to fruition from your help. Mm. And, uh, and that I'm gearing towards younger men. So mm-hmm. our age range is kind of 19 to 25. And mm-hmm. I feel that there's a lot of value in having a separate container for men at that stage in life. And 100%. then the men's group I hold here in town is maybe 25 to 65, or there's no, there's really right. no age limit. Right. I really I love it when older men come out. So we have some elders in the space mm-hmm. and it's open to anyone. Um, so yeah, those are amazing. Those are so describe tools. the kind of gentlemen that would maybe seek out uh, this group, what kind of uh, individual would want or would, would be welcome into this circle? Well, any, any man who feels called to is mm-hmm. welcome mm-hmm. and really in- encouraging anyone to, to try it out mm-hmm. and come for a session. Um, men's work I feel there may be some stigma around it that it's for men who are struggling. And that's great. If you're struggling and can acknowledge that and have that awareness, Mm -hmm. then please, yes, seek out community and and come join us. And also, if you're doing great, please come too. We need those guys too, right? Yes, absolutely. (laughs) And that can be a real service too, Mm -hmm. to show up and to, to bring your energy, if you're in a really good place, to a group like that. And... I personally feel I'm in a really good place. And yet I still receive so much from being in these containers. And I continually am astounded how much I can grow and learn as an individual and also how much I receive from being able to support other other men and other brothers. And um, I also want to speak to the reality of isolation in our world now. Mm -hmm. It's it's become rampant. And these opportunities to gather in brotherhood is one of the remedies that I've found for Mm -hmm. isolation. And I had a very, very dear friend, my best friend in the whole world, and he passed away a few years ago in 2021. And thank you, me too. Um, And so I know that isolation Mm -hmm. was a massive contributor Mm -hmm. to, to his challenges. Yes. And that has been the primary fuel for mm. me in bringing these opportunities forward to create places 
for connection and community Mm -hmm. to really be established in an intentional, conscious, sober way. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I think we've spoken about this before, and I'm sure our audience is also aware of the fact that uh, in Western society, and I know it's getting better, but in Western society, many of us, uh, particularly those of us who've had trauma in our early years, have a sense of being rather emotionally illiterate. That's kind of the way I put it. Difficult to express or even know what I'm feeling, but particularly in my estimation, a man is expected to have his you-know-what together and not really get too touchy-feely. Otherwise, he may come across as too effeminate. There's this thing, and I think that you and many of of your friends are breaking that down, are are changing the way that that is uh, perceived. And so I just want to thank you for that and thank you for what you did and are continuing to do for Josiah and the other young men I brought to you. And other than that, I wanted to know, is there anything that you would like to promote for yourself in your singing as you are releasing your own voice, giving voice to men in a metaphorical sense, and then going forward, what are you looking forward to that we may like to watch out for? Okay, thank you for that. Um, And I really appreciate you speaking to the emotional intelligence factor, and that is a really big aspect Mm -hmm. of men's work in general. And, and giving a voice to men, as, mm-hmm. as you said. Um, creating a space where, where men can open up about what's going on on the inside. Yeah. The emotions, the plights, the challenges, the struggles, the celebrations and, um, and traumas mm-hmm. and, and experiences that have for so many generations been oh, discouraged sure. from mm-hmm. being expressed. And there is a, a really potent way that those Feelings can be shared in brotherhood and held by other men. Mm, beautiful. And, uh, and then in doing so, they don't have to be stuck inside and be repressed and suppressed and end up coming out sideways in, right. in other distorted ways. Mm. So, yeah, I really appreciate beautiful. you speaking to How that. How can um, my friends out there reach you? Okay. So it's uh, right now best to find me through Instagram or Facebook. I and don't what's your handle on Instagram? yet have a website, but I will. Uh-huh. Uh, Instagram, you can find me at Hawks. That's my last name. H-A-W-K-S underscore Ian, I-A-N. So right. Hawks underscore Ian Great. on Instagram or search my name, Ian Hawks on Facebook. And um, I post different offerings on there and really encourage anyone to send me a message. Let's talk. I'd love to drop on a phone call with anyone who's interested and Beautiful. share what opportunities might be there. And, and I'm starting to share some of my music through social media as well and Great. have some uh, have some sessions in recording studio coming up over the next Great. series of months. I'm glad and, to hear that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to sharing. And I love it. Here, it's all original more. music and the, the lyrics themselves are so inspirational and beautiful. We will connect you to some of that because I already know where it is. We'll get that all sorted out. And in the meantime, I just want to say thank you so much. I feel a strong connection with you as like part of my own family. Mm -hmm. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you all for being here today and we'll see you next time. Yeah, Thank you so much, Alexandra. (laughs) Thank you.